What's up, Sailor Senji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. It's been over a year since I recorded a video. I know it's been a really long time, and I have a reason for that. I actually moved from San Francisco Bay Area all the way over to Colorado, and the past year I've mostly just been working on my core business structure, which is my tech YouTube channel. That's my full-time job. I've been working really hard on kind of growing that income and trying to support the business itself and trying to, you know, get my house together. I know anybody else out there who has moved across state lines knows how much work goes into it even after you have moved in. Like most of our boxes are unpacked at this point, but now we are getting to the point where we're doing some upgrades. So a lot of that has just been taking over my life. And also with everything that happened this past year, which we did not know was coming when I last recorded my Sailor Snubs videos, because of that I haven't really collected a bunch of items this year, but now the boxes are starting to pile up and I really want to see what I bought because some of these items I've had sitting in boxes since I moved in last year. <laughs> It's been a really long time, so I really want to get to unboxing and give you some more reviews and basically just catch up with everybody. So hi, how are you? Let me know in the comments. I really miss y'all. But now that my job has really gotten consistent and the house is pretty much in order, I can get consistent again with my Sailor Snubs channel. So thank you so much for staying subscribed and thank you for asking. Um, no reason to be concerned. It's just been an extremely busy year for me and I'm really happy to be back. So I hope that you're happy to see this video as well and I can't wait to show you everything that's to come. So I know that this is a Sailor Moon store bag but I've been collecting a whole bunch of items in this bag that I have been able to collect from different stores here in North America. So today I am going to do a North American unboxing for you of all the different items that I was able to collect from different stores across the United States. Now with all of my unboxings, I will always put the links down below as well as the identifiers for where you can purchase these items if they are still available. And I will also give you the prices as well down below. So make sure to hit the description, which is that little carrot right next to the title if you're watching on mobile or PC. So I'm pretty excited because with this new room, it's gotten a lot bigger for my collection. So I have more room to be able to spread things out and record for you. So this time I have b-roll. I have a top-down shot so I can show you things as I unbox them. So the first items I definitely wanted to show you are Sailor Moon Eternal version or Eternal Edition number 9 and 10. These finally came out um, sometime last year and they're available on Amazon, Right Stuff, all sorts of different stores. I always buy mine from Right Stuff because I appreciate how they package them. So when you receive the books, there are no marks. You can see that mine, are, I've already read these, but they're still in excellent quality and there's no scuffs, there's no damage to the edges or anything like that, other than what I may have done since I received the books and since I've been reading them. But I highly recommend this version of the Sailor Moon manga if you haven't read it yet. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Yes, they're very big, but they also have new translations and the art is a little bit more spread out. So you do see some edge art that you did not get in the smaller printing, which is very nice. And the color pages are just absolutely gorgeous. So I do highly recommend these if you don't have them yet add these to your collection, reread the Sailor Moon manga. It's so good. I mean, I forgot about the last story in here, the alternate story that's in the 10th one. And I just read it again and it was so good. And this cutie pie, adorable. Uh, I mean, it's just such a good manga. I highly recommend. So definitely grab these if you haven't yet. So some of these items I still haven't even opened yet. This is a Sailor Moon two pack of scrunchies, as you can see. So these were $9.90 retail price, but you can usually find things like this from Hot Topic and Box Lunch for on sale prices. They usually have like a buy two get one free or they usually have some percentage off or you can get a reward and use that for these items. So that's what I did for these. So I did not pay $9.90. But I wear a lot of scrunchies. My hair is really, really thick and I love scrunchies to just put my hair up in. And these, I just, I could not pass them up. They are so cute. They're really soft. And it feels like the band is nice and thick in there, so I feel like it won't break for a long time, which is good. And it has an embroidery little moon on the front for Artemis, as well as Luna's headband. 
Now Luna's is a little bit funnier. It looks a little funky. It's probably just mine in particular, but you can tell that the ears on the Luna scrunchie are a little bit closer together than they are on the Artemis scrunchie. So there is that, but otherwise they look really cute. Definitely decent quality. I mean, nothing special, that's for sure, but they will definitely do me good when it comes to just sticking these in my hair on a, on a day that I don't feel like doing my hair. You may have seen this already, but I never unboxed it. So I did want to mention it. This came out before I moved and I just put it into storage and I never got around to opening it. But these are limited edition Comic-Con pin and lanyard set. And this actually came out online for like 20 bucks. So I was able to pick one up. This very much reminds me of the swag lanyards that you can get from Disneyland. Oh, I miss Disneyland, don't y'all? Okay, so here we have our Comic-Con limited edition lanyard. Comes with a little card holder, which is very nice for conventions. And this is the actual lanyard. Really nice printing. It looks really good. Very clear. I like that. And the other side is the same exact print. So no difference there. And then we have three pins that come with it. We have a little Sailor Moon, a little chibi Sailor Moon. And we have Sailor Moon's Compact. So cute. These are nice little enamel pins. I will definitely be putting these up on my pin board. I was pretty stoked when I saw this. I believe it was on Box Lunch's website. But this is a beautiful little Sailor Moon iridescent tea mug that you can buy online. Um, you, It might still be in stock. I bought this pretty recently, so definitely check the link down below and make sure that it's still there. This one has really nice clear printing on it and it is iridescent, as you can see. So it has this really nice rainbow shine to the outside and the interior is just a very simple pink color. This was $16.90 MSRP, but you can usually use a sale price for items at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. And this features the five inner senshi. Now with all of Box Lunch and Hot Topic's accessories for the kitchen, they always recommend not washing these in the dishwasher, but you can wash them by hand. They also recommend not putting these in the microwave because that can damage the art. Yeah, do not soak, do not microwave, hand wash only. I feel like my knife being in the picture is kind of threatening, so I'm gonna get that out of the picture. Then we have a couple of face masks. These sold out almost immediately on line, so they were very, very hard to find. I'm very lucky that I was able to see these uh, when they went on sale, so I grabbed them as soon as I saw them online. I don't know if they sell these in store at Box Lunch or Hot Topic. You can definitely check just to see. These retail for $14.90. I believe this one is also $14.90, so same price for both of them. Now these are cloth masks, so they are not KN95. They're not going to protect you from any viruses, so I definitely recommend using these with another mask underneath them and just using them as style or to cover up additionally to keep you extra safe, but definitely not by themselves. When you take these out of the packaging, you can tell that they are very, very thin material, so they would not be very protective. They do have a pocket for a filter though, so if you do have additional filters, you can put them inside this pocket, which is nice to see, so I will definitely be doing that. And they have adjustable ear loops, which I also like. I don't like buying ones that don't have ear loops because they make me ache a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I hate wearing ones that don't have the adjustable straps. So this one features Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal. You can tell by the outline, and it also has some very pretty flowers along the edges. I feel like the colors might run if you put these in the wash, especially if you put them in hot. Oh, I just noticed they also have a little metal band at the top for your nose, so that's nice. I appreciate that extra little feature. And then our second one over here features the bunny rabbits. Such a cute print. I love it so much. It's so adorable. This is a very, very simple pant pattern. This is what you would wear if you didn't necessarily want to you know, show off your Sailor Moon pride as much during one of the days that you're out. But myself, I would probably wear this one because I love the purple, but this is cute. This is really cute. So this one also has the little metal band for your nose. It also has the adjustable ear loops. That's great. And it has the filter pocket. So you can put your filters inside of there. Cool. So I always have that thing where I put on masks and then they fog up my glasses because the air is escaping out of the top of it. So I've been looking for tighter masks that will work better because some of the ones that I own just, they were not protective enough. But these ones are really cute. I feel like uh, they're a little bit tighter, so they might be made for a smaller face. I don't have escaping air up here, which is good. Yeah, see how the, see how it's kind of 
blowing in and then coming out whenever I breathe in and out. You can kind of see it blowing out. That's good. That's a good sign. That means that you have a really good seal on your edges. So I like this mask. I think it's cute. What do you guys think? I feel like it matches my um, aesthetic really well. Now that I got makeup all over it, let's see how this one fits. I didn't adjust the ear loops. You know, the bottom is kind of, it's kind of just chilling there, but there is, you know, there is a line sewn down here. So it's pretty tight along my chin. Okay. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's cute. I do need to adjust the ear loops though, because they're way too tight right now. Ow! I'm saving the best for last because I love checking out t-shirts and I got three new ones, which I can't wait to show you. But I also got these little guys. They're so cute. These are six different Sailor Moon hand sanitizers, which I was able to find at Target. And because they were almost sold out, I bought all of them. So there was a high demand for these as well on social media. A lot of people were looking for these and I think you can still find them, but this is what they look like. This is the first version that they came out with. Each of these features a hand sanitizer pack on the inside of them, which is just your generic, like average sized hand sanitizer. No scent or anything, I don't believe. But let's test that theory. Oh no, I don't want to mess up my nails. I'm going to test this theory. Let's find out. Let's find out what it smells like. I'm really into Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers because they smell so good. Whew. Yeah, that's just straight alcohol. Oh my God. That smells like a bottle of liquor. Ooh. <laughs> so I would probably replace the hand sanitizers that come in there with other ones from like Purell or even Bath and Body Works has ones that are around the same size that would probably fit in here. Cause this is just, ugh. I don't like unscented hand sanitizer. I'm sure some people do, but it's a very, very strong scent. <laughs> so here we have Tuxedo Mask with his tag and he's so cute. He's got his little rose. He's looking all chibi. Then we have Sailor Jupiter. Jupiter also looks adorable and she's got her cute little ponytail going on. We also have Sailor Mercury. Mercury's looking so cute and dainty. Sailor Venus with her giant smile, of course, adorable. And here we have Sailor Mars. Mars is looking adorable as usual and looking fancy as F. And lastly, we have Sailor Moon. Now Sailor Moon looks super cute as well. She's got both of her ponytails looking adorable. And then she also has her little heart compact in the center. So those are the handy sands. All right, and last but not least, my Hot Topic and Box Lunch t-shirts. Cause I can never have enough Sailor Moon t-shirts. I love them, they are so great. T-shirts are wonderful. So this first one is from Box Lunch. It was $28.90 MSRP. I got a medium, although I probably could have gone with a small given the size of this one. Uh, but this is pretty and it's very, very soft. This is very soft. It feels like it might be 100% cotton, but the really, really nice cotton, not like the super stiff stuff that you get from like a Hanes t-shirt. This is very nice. It feels like it will fall really well when wearing. And I don't think it's gonna shrink. Let's see, 100% cotton. Um, Machine wash cold, tumble dry low. Oh, it doesn't say that it was pre-shrunk. So it might shrink in the washer and dryer when I put them in there. But this is a tie-dye shirt. Isn't it beautiful? It has Sailor Moon's wand in the center. And then it has this really pretty, it's almost like an astronomy symbol around it, which I think was very cool because it features each of the planetary symbols, but on one of these circles and even has like little circles, which could even designate like moons or something, although it is not scientifically accurate. But this totally reminds me of what you would see for an astronomy map of our solar system. So I think it's really cute and again, very soft. It looks like the screen printing is done really well. So I don't see any errors or anything like that. And of course, with every single one of these shirts, since it's tie dye, you're going to have like different different tie dyes going on with each of the shirts. So yours might look a little bit different than mine. However, I really like the mix of colors on here. I love the blues, the greens and the pinks down at the bottom. I think it gives it a very nice mix. So this is definitely a shirt I'm gonna wear in the summertime. This one is from Hot Topic. I debated on purchasing it when I saw it in the store and then I ended up getting it online because I had one of those coupons that they send you in the mail. Uh, this one retails for $24.90. I got a small, size small, and it features all of the inner senshi. So it has this really interesting distressed look to it. 
and I like the colors used for the Sailor Senshi. I'll show you a close up. So this is the shirt that I got, and as you can see, the colors in here have a very, very pretty outer space type of look to them. There's like stars in here and they have like really pretty colors that you would see in galaxy photos. So it kind of looks like outer space clouds if you want. I think it's really pretty and it does kind of remind me of an 80s type of band shirt given the art style. Now if you're wondering, this one is also 100% cotton. It is machine wash cold, tumble dry low, do not iron decoration, non-chlorine bleach when needed. So the same. Same old, same old. Now the last one, I also got a size small. This one is $22.90 retail, and this is also from Hot Topic. This one features just the inner guardians and no Sailor Moon. Isn't that cool? So this one has, of course, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, and Venus, and it has kind of a cool 1990s vibe to it, which is why I liked this one. So here's your Sailor Guardians, and they are all on the front of the shirt. Uh, in the back, it's kind of like a mauve color. It's really pretty. It's like a rosy, kind of a rosy mauve. Uh, Jupiter's hair color is pretty light. I feel like it's almost too light, but otherwise pretty decent coloring. Sailor Venus over here has a purple bow and she should have a blue bow. That's interesting. Well, kind of weird. So there's your Sailor Guardian shirt. Obviously it's not 100% accurate because like her hair color is too too light and she has that purple bow which is a little weird but we're just gonna go with it because most people probably won't notice okay y'all that was everything i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about any of these products definitely let me know and if there's anything that you want to see me review i can usually access items as long as i hear about them fast enough so let me know about those in the comments below i would love to check out any sailor moon items that you want me to check out so definitely reach out to me if you have any kind of recommendations. If there's any particular tutorials or how-to segments that you want to see as well with reference to Sailor Moon or even just Sailor Moon videos in general about like, I don't know, my favorite things from Sailor Moon or uh, I could talk about the differences between different variations of the anime or the manga or whatever. I'm more than happy to do those kind of videos. I am getting vaccinated pretty soon so I'm pre-recording a bunch of videos. You might see me wearing the same outfit in more than one video. Don't judge me too hard, but I just figured I might be sick after getting the vaccination, so I might as well pre-record with that preparation in mind. But still, go get vaccinated. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sailor Snubs, and I will see you next time. Johnny.